Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Trucking. So, Chainsaw and me are trying out the Convoy mode on ETS2. We've never done it before, so it's very new to us. Hopefully everything works okay. Uh, I don't know if my sound is okay. I did do a sound check and it seemed okay, but when I've done it in the past, yeah, it comes through a bit too quiet or a bit too loud once I've done the editing. So, anyway, here we go. Derek is back. I don't know if you can see Derek in there, just about. Um, so yeah, you might want to know where we're going. Let's just go on to here. And you can see that we are going to... Well, we're going from Toulouse to Bordeaux. Uh, it's 128 miles. And we have a cargo of... Is it the Braco vans? Oh no, it's the cars this time. Uh, okay, so... Obviously we're going to drive as realistically as possible. Hopefully everything works okay. Um, I think actually... What would be more fun if Chainsaw leads if I lead? I guess I should probably lead. Uh, we can probably take any turns. So, yeah. Really hope it's not too loud, the engine sound. It looks like on my mixer, uh, if anything, it's too quiet. But yeah, we can uh, we can fine-tune that in the future. Better to be too quiet than too loud, because you won't hear a thing I'm saying. Right, so check the mirrors. Chainsaw is following. It's all looking good. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously we could use the CB radio, but I don't use any. I don't have any sound on when I'm recording. No speakers. I could have headphones, but I don't really like wearing them too much. Okay, so it begins our first journey using the ETS2 cargo mode. This is not uh, Truckers MP. This is not the multiplayer. So we're not going to be suddenly crashed into by... Oh, actually, no, we probably will be crashed into by somebody. <laughs> but not a real person. We have been crashed into many times before. Okay, so yeah, Chainsaw is still there. We're not going to race away from him. Still there behind us. Fantastic. So the way we're going to do this is the way that I've always done it. If there's going to be a long stretch where not much happens, I will put it onto a time lapse. But it will be good if the majority is done in real time. And we did actually start this game already, and uh, it was pitch black. It was only ten o'clock at night, and the time was dragging. So we had to go into single player to <laughs> move the time on, and then get it back to daytime. Unless there, maybe there is a way uh, of of doing it in the game in the in the convoy mode. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to stick to the speed limits as much as possible. It's not too busy though, is it? It's pretty quiet. And yeah, there's no pro mods or anything. This is all the official DLCs. Although some of these speed limits are quite tricky to stick to. I will also try and do a few third person shots so that we can also see Chainsaw properly. There he is. And it does say the player's name above there. Lorry. Uh, we might do this in the future with some subscribers. That would be quite a fun thing to do. But it obviously we'd have to make sure that the, the other players are genuine, I'm sure they will be, but what you don't want is some nutter to turn up and start crashing into you, because that would just ruin everything. Uh, okay, that seems to have opened the chat. There we go. Chainsaw went through the fast lane. I could have done that. The speed lane. So we are pretty much going to be heading to the Iberia DLC area. This first job isn't. The reason why we're actually going here is because it was the only one which I had. One thing I really do like about the convoy system is you can match the other player's location, or their job. Uh, so I assigned this job and then Chainsaw just uh, took the same trailer. Which is a really nice feature. How much is this worth? I know it was quite good money. Eight tons of cars. £5,916. 
which is only for travelling a hundred and something miles, so yeah, that seems pretty good. We do have the limiter on, I think, so it's not like I can go over 56. That keeps it nice and realistic. But yeah, please do let me know what you think to this, if you think it's better or worse than how I used to do survival trucking. Pro Mods is nice, I have to admit, it is really nice. Um, but then being able to drive with somebody, a Steam friend in this case, um, yeah, that seems like a nice thing to do. And you are playing multiplayer but with the traffic, which we don't have on Truckers MP. There are some really good players on Truckers MP, but sadly there are some oafs and they do ruin it if you try and do a realistic video, so yeah, this is a good way of doing it. I will do a sound check once we get to our destination. This is the first time I've driven. Uh, I think it's different volumes inside and out. I think with this lorry actually it might be louder on the inside. But this is Derek's lorry. We're still looking to improve it, modify it. Just 78 miles left to go. James is racing ahead. And he is actually doing his own video as well. So if you want to see that, you can do over on his channel. And as I mentioned, this is actually a video series which is once every two weeks. And I don't know, but eventually maybe it would be worth streaming it instead of doing videos which I publish. Again, let me know. How, how do you think it would how do you think it would go? It would be quite hard though if I'm reading the chat. Uh, it might make the driving quality decrease. We've regrouped. We're back together. I think the best way of doing the next job is for Chainsaw to choose it, and then I match his job. Uh, the main reason why is because Derek doesn't have many perks when it comes to long distance, so he can't really go very far. And I'm guessing that would override it. But since this is all new to us, we are just learning as we go. I also like that if you click on Q, you get this quick reply menu and that can really help that saves a lot of time you can also write a custom message by pressing Y on the keyboard I bet that bus tries to merge or the coach I always get hit by coaches and buses and they're, they're letting them go, what are they doing? <laughs> that's not what you do they're looking for a pile-up Okay, so our first delivery is almost completed. We only have 40 miles left to go. I think once we've done a bit of driving in Iberia, it would be nice to go back north again. Uh, I'd like to go to an area with loads and loads of trees. Oh, we have good trees here, but uh, yeah, like the... Um, oh, which sort of area? I I'm guessing places like Lithuania. That would be quite nice. Okay, this time I'm going to try and assign myself to the speed lane. Everybody's going in the speed lane. Forty-six pounds. Oh, look at that. A nasty smash. That's bad. It's a good job we're not going in that direction. We have been sent on wild goose chases before. And it only turns out that you can't actually... <laughs> you can't bypass it. At least that's what I found before. 
There's sometimes no alternative route. Sometimes there are. Yes, I'm guessing Chainsaw's Lorry is much more powerful than mine because this one uh, was only new for this series, Survivor Trucking this year. I believe Chainsaw's profile is pretty good. I think he's really high ranked. Uh, I think he's got over a million pounds. So, yeah, <laughs> lots and lots of money over there. Lots of high spec stuff. Well, this is a very nice area, actually. To conclude this delivery. So we're turning left here. Typical traffic. Oh, let's see go. Thank you. Very kind of you. I do usually assign the default view because then I've got a perfectly aligned right mirror. We have the left mirror at the top left. It makes it much easier to drive. Yeah, this is a road to just one business by the look of it. And it's starting to go dark. But at least we have done at least one job in daylight. I think it would also be wise to try and have something to aim for. If we can really think of something to actually work towards. Whether it's a new lorry, a new engine, new transmission. What should we really work towards? It's always good to have a goal. Okay, looks like my delivery is somewhere. Somewhere over here. My bay. There it is. Probably the same one as Chainsaw. It is, yeah. So, it is a no collision area. But I'd prefer to wait. It looks much more realistic. Not only that, but it makes it easier. Having two lorries inside each other is a bit weird. There we go. My approach angle was terrible. But it's taking it. Probably shouldn't have done. But anyway, there we go. Excellent. All very good. 5,916 and more experience points. Fantastic. Okay, let's do the next one. Chainsaw is just finding a job. Which we will duplicate. We'll do the same one. Just sitting here. Watching that man. He's very busy. Actually, I have no idea what he's doing. He's doing absolutely nothing at all. Sound test completed. Seems perfect on my end. Okay, so I'm told by Chainsaw that the job which we're going to do uh, is not that long in itself, but it's 48 miles to collect 241. So, yeah, it's pretty much... It is pretty much 300 miles. So off we go. I wonder if night times go faster. I'm pretty sure the night time does usually pass faster. I 
I don't mind dusk. But dark? Yeah, it's pretty hard, especially for a video. I think this probably would work quite well as a live stream. But I'd probably want to assign an incredibly long slow mode on the chat. Not because I don't want anybody to talk, uh, just because I would prefer to have the chat going pretty slowly. Otherwise it would be chaos, I would be struggling to read some of the messages, and it would just be really hard. So, yeah, if, if I did do this as a live stream, there would be an extremely long slow mode. So the distance you have, well, the time you have to wait um, between posting messages in the chat. It's a good time of day to get some good photographs. But it does seem relatively flat around here. Getting the really dramatic mountains is a fantastic thing to do. Uh, we will need diesel soon. Mustn't forget to get that, but I think we can probably keep going for now. But these are all new roads to me. Exploring them for the first time. Never been here. I think I probably put cruise control on at 50. Also, when it's this dark, you can see in our mirror there, you can't really see too much. You'd see if a vehicle was following us. you see the headlights, but otherwise, yeah, not much to see. More fuel. Oh, I thought that was going to crash into me then. Well, 48 miles will soon munch that up. That won't take long. Look at the scenery. So yeah, this is the this is survivor trucking back and here to stay for now. Um, certainly until FS22 is released. When FS22 is released, obviously there'll be a break from everything from normality. Um, just going to be doing everything FS22. So I'll start off by doing a first hit video, and oh, that was the Rosas. Then I'll be doing let's plays on the starting maps. Soon after, I would hope to start survival roleplay but not on a base game map it will be on a modded map and then yes once the uh, really hectic release week is out of the way I will start to do things like survival trucking again but next week it will be uh, lawn mowing simulator And then the following week, back to uh, uh, survival trucking again. So here we are. I didn't know we were going to stop so suddenly. This is a different place. I've never been to a place like this before. A big quarry. Okay, so once Chainsaw has assigned the job, I should be able to get it as well. When he starts to move, I know he's got it. There we go. So if we find Chainsaw, there you go, we've got marble blocks. We want to take the same one. There it is, look. A big, well, it's 22.5 tons. It's a big one, 8,477 pounds. So it's going to Santander. We're going into Spain. Which way did it go? Wait, which way? Which way did he go? It's up there, but I thought he turned right. Maybe he turned left. We'll soon find out. Or maybe it's one big circle. Yes, there he is. Oh, I see. He's trying to find it as well. It must be a tricky one to find. He, where's mine? <laughs> mine is over there. Uh, might be in the way though now. OK. 
Okay. Interesting. Oh, good. Actually, yeah, that's... I'm pleased I went this way. Now we're facing the right direction. And now it's raining. How lovely. Okay, do this from first person view. There we go. Got it in the end. Let's get those wipers on. Lovely rain. And actually, I don't know if I've assigned a key for high beam. Yeah, high beam headlights now assigned to my steering wheel. We're ready to go. Oh, what was that? What was that? I can't see a thing. I really don't like playing in the dark. More importantly, did I take damage? No. So I have no idea what that was. That was weird. I'm guessing my trailer clipped the fence or something. Yeah, so hopefully the time does pass quite quickly. Because uh, it is obviously very dark. We're in a spooky woods in the dark. But at least we can see our cargo. <laughs> at least you can see what we are carrying. We can see chainsaws in front. That is heavy. Oh, the bus doesn't want to come in here, does it? I'm sure it doesn't. It's letting us go. How lovely. Well, it's letting chainsaw go. It's gonna, oh, I can't see anything to the right. Wow, this is dark. Fantastic for the person playing, but I'm sure for viewing in a video, uh, it's quite hard to see. Very immersive. Better turn my full beam off. So, because my lorry is really not that powerful, my acceleration is poor, so the chainsaw is going to probably get in front quite a bit. I've now got a car coming up behind. But if, if, if there is a way of uh, passing the time when you're in convoy mode, please do let me know, I'd love to know. It would be useful, because uh, I went to a rest spot and it just said taking a coffee break and the time didn't move on. So, uh, yes, I don't think it functions like in single player. Okay, we're back on cruise control. We can also see on the map, on the mini-map, where Chainsaw is. We're getting some diesel, that's a good idea. I'm going to be burning it like mad. Driving around with a huge rock. Has anybody lost a wheel? This is going to be expensive. There goes the neighbouring rock. That was the other problem uh, with, uh, well I'm not going to say a problem actually, I absolutely love Truckers MP, absolutely amazing, absolute game changer, massive fun, but yes, the word is limitation. You couldn't take, you couldn't necessarily have the same cargo as somebody you were playing with. Yeah, Truckers MP is great. Um, trying to rest, I'm guessing. At least the rain has stopped. OK, 
Okay. Back on full beam. Oh, my wipers are still going. Stop. <laughs> we'll get it stopped eventually. Uh, sticking out a bit. Ah, for good reason. Yeah, I do like this road. Feels like you're way away from civilization. Way out in the countryside. Right, so we build our speed back to 50. Press C for cruise control. And there we go. There's also a lot of fuel stations, which I think is great for such a remote feeling road. Probably best that we don't talk about fuel stations though, those people in the UK. What? I don't understand. I slam my brakes on. This car just stopped in front of me. Um, for anybody who likes to review my videos, please do tell me what happened there. <laughs> I could have been at fault. I don't know. I don't think I was, but... Oh, here's the Rosas. Better late than never. Anyway, we have just over 100 miles left to go. 6% trailer damage. I've just been hit in the back by chainsaw, I think. Uh, but cargo damage is nothing. That's fine. I, could, I did have 2% from also hitting nothing while going through one of those toll booths. Uh, well, I might have clipped something. I don't know. Oh, look at this. What's going on here? Looks like it's only a partial closure, closure which is good. We don't want any full closures. Oh, and that's why you don't start gazing at accidents. You start hitting other stuff. Uh, right, so. Just stick at it. The reason why I time up that piece is because it was dark. And, well, it is still dark, but I'm just trying to get the night out of the way. It looks like the night time does progress at the same pace as daytime. Where's Chainsaw gone? I think he's back there. Yeah. So yeah, we're continuing on to Bilbao. Or is it Santander? I think it was Santander. Yeah. Good.
This is it then, our final 20 miles of this journey. Again, in general, it's been going okay. Uh, that crash was a bit strange. And I don't know if you noticed in that time lapse as well, there was also a crash in front of me involving a rigid and I think it was a tanker. Yes, strange. At least I think it was a rigid. Anyway, we must be coming off here. It will also be coming light very soon. It's 20 to 4 in the morning. There's the destination on the minimap. So, come off here. And then, yeah, it's just around the corner. Oh no, don't engine malfunction. I can't brake. <laughs> That's not good. And by the way, the reason why I'm driving this whole episode pretty much with the high beam on is just to make the video better. Just so you can see more of what's going on. Otherwise I wouldn't have high beam on permanently. Because we shouldn't have it on permanently. It'd dazzle all the other drivers. Well, I can probably turn it off now. Yeah, so it, we do need to repair the lorry. I think it's an accumulation of damage over the whole series. Okay, no collision zone. Where do I drop mine off? Chainsaws is there. Mine's all the way over here. Which is potentially slightly tricky. Oh no, no, don't. I can't break. Oh no. What a time to have an engine malfunction. That is just seriously bad luck. Yes, it needs to be fixed. Okay, there is a skip there, don't hit the skip. And there we go. That was better than the first one. Still a bit rusty though, because I haven't played ETST very much recently. Okay, still excellent, because the damage was to the trailer, not the cargo. £8,477. Fantastic. And progress towards the next level. So it is my turn to choose now, and I have found this one here. Just a very short one, 130 miles with a 21 ton excavator. I look forward to that. Uh, so we have to drive eight miles. There we go. Yeah, this should be interesting and it should be mostly in daylight. I've put eight mils. <laughs> I meant miles. Yeah, that one was only bad because of the darkness. You can see it's getting light, so that's all good. Um, where are we going? Up here. So yeah, not too bad. We're going to have three jobs completed in this episode. Good way of getting back into it. Ooh, look at that. Thundering up the inside. Oh, please don't wait for me now. Good. 
That's very busy. Oh, engine malfunction. That could have gone better. Yeah, that very early morning bluey sort of lighting. But way better than it being pitch black. Right, so it looks like we come off here and we have a place called ACC. Two excavators, one each. This will probably be my favourite cargo of today. In fact, yes, it will be. It will be my favourite. I'd say the most. Actually, the, the granite was it a granite block that was that wasn't too bad because at least it was a heavy cargo. So you had to sort of drive to the conditions of the load. None of them are bad, actually. We haven't done any standard curtain side of work. But yeah, after this one, I need to fix the, the lorry. Because uh, it is cutting out quite a bit. We're waiting, okay. Ah yes, much more scenic. Many things to see, I should say. Much more scenery. Yeah, so ACC is the place that we are going to. And we're going to get that job picked up and Chainsaw can have the same one. So it is somewhere around the side. Or, yes, in the back shed. Uh, let's just reverse into there. go. Yes, this is a good load. And the sun is shining. How lovely. Now we just need to wait for Chainsaw. What's that car doing? What was that car doing? Did you see that car over the river or this stream here? <laughs> what was that? Good opportunity to make my thumbnail. I like that you can do that now. Change the time of day. It even puts all the lights on at night. Look at that. That's fantastic lighting there. It looks so realistic. Okay, is Chainsaw... Yeah, there's Chainsaw. Oh, he's got an orange one. I have a turquoise one. Am I leading? Okay. Off we go. Hundred and thirty one miles. I'm gonna be pretty slow because I have a what is it, four hundred? I don't know actually. Four twenty Don't do that and drive. Four hundred and twenty horsepower lorry. Yes, that was a big mistake. <laughs> it's because I do that in farming simulator. It doesn't really matter, there's no damage. Expensive repair bill. But this is my point about a live stream. If I was looking at the chat, for example, a similar thing might happen. 
I don't know. It's one of these things that you've got to try before you know. Okay, so we're leaving Santander. I'm going to do a time lapse for the next 50 or 60 miles. And then, yeah, obviously, if we get to somewhere very special, I will put it back into real time. But let's just see how we go. Okay, this is it. This is where we've got some really good scenery. This is what I've been waiting for. And I'm very pleased that we're not in the dark. 8.30 a.m. What a fantastic time. Much better than 8.30 p.m. We have the whole day ahead of us. Okay, so... Oh, look, they've been pulled over. Unless they broke down. Like me, I'm breaking down I need to have a service as suspected acceleration is very poor uh, we do need a much higher horsepower lorry uh, but I'm getting the money now although we're going to be spending quite a bit of money on repairs so soon I'll be able to start upgrading this lorry uh, and also the color scheme I think that should probably be changed as well it's okay but it would be quite nice to go for something a bit more interesting. More inspiring. Maybe more like a company branding. I don't think we can have mods, so we can't have the uh, Dagoin Logistics skin, uh, which is unfortunate. It would have been very nice. I'm seeing quite a few crashes. Some of them are just placed random events, but others are actual actual crashes, people crashing into each other. The live traffic. And it looks like we have a police car between us. <laughs> a police car separating us. You could say it's been sandwiched. I know, it's overtaking. I think it's a police car. Uh, wow, only eight miles left to go. Engine malfunction. Hooray, hooray. I didn't want to go up there, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. See, that's the other problem. It takes over the sat-nav. Although I do have the integrated sat-nav. Yes, before we start the next one, I will be repairing. Graffiti. Lots of graffiti.
just taking the sites. There's not there's quite a lot of businesses around here. Doesn't seem to be much residential. And this is our destination on the right hand side. Here we are. So I wonder what kind of uh, parking area we're going to be given today. How much manoeuvring. Okay, it's right in the back corner. Uh, yes, I daren't drive into there. We'll have to do it from out here. There's chainsaw. Right, let's go back. I should do it from first person view, but I know I won't be able to do it. So, <laughs> in fact, third person view might be tricky. pretty close. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Uh, maybe first person is better then. I don't know. I will try it. Well, it wasn't terrible. I'm not perfectly aligned. But I am in. So I'll take that. That's good enough. Need to get that away for chainsaw. 5,527 pounds. Very good. Okay, so that is going to conclude our work for today. But I would love to get some feedback. Please do check out Chainsaw's video as well. Uh, it looks like Chainsaw's actually going over here. Interesting. He must have uh, one of those bays. Yeah, there's a bay to the left of the refrigerated unit. Yeah. Not much space. <laughs> Not much space to manoeuvre. Probably best if he swings around. But of course, you can see all this from another perspective on his channel. We'll just keep the video rolling for anybody interested in watching this. But they're not, I suppose, it, with a bit of practice, they would be. But when you go from a standard sort of trailer to one of these, it seems harder because of the steering axle. Okay, there we go. Bay number three. All done. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.